Okay, it's Friday. Just got down to the farm. Early start of the day, 4.30. Went and loaded pigs, did chores. Now we're here. Humping in the chili goat. <clears throat> now you might be thinking, Colton, do you think that you should really be in the ice bath before you're trying? Well, the answer is maybe. Yeah. There's been some research that I've been looking at that would suggest it could be beneficial to recovery to do your cold water immersion therapy prior to training. Now I'm going to keep on <clears throat> researching this. I don't know all the technicalities and everything, so I don't want to get too deep into it and tell you something that's inaccurate, but I know it's something to do with cold shock proteins and something released by your liver when you do in an ice bath. So we're gonna give it a shot. Five minutes here in the chili goat, prior to training. See how I feel. Doing some more prep for the crash crucible this weekend. So we're gonna kinda treat this Friday, Saturday, Sunday as a competition simulation. Gonna do <clears throat> the first two events today, the second two events tomorrow, and then the final events on Sunday. And um, might also do some strength work and a little bit of cardio mixed in there, but I don't want to put too much on top of it. So I do want this to be a good simulation for Crash this weekend. And then hopefully, if I have time, <clears throat> you see the weenies over there in their pen. I think I'm gonna lay some new flooring inside their doghouse, put up some trim, and go get them a new dog bed. It's getting cold out here. It's, uh, it's in the 40s today. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's time to remodel the little dog house over there. So hopefully we'll get to that. I know some other things that Allie's gonna really want me to do today. Probably keep working. And then we see over there, our vanity that we are building and um, our shelves for the kitchen shelving. Stained them yesterday, so I gotta sand them and <clears throat> get the brackets up today and see if maybe we can get those installed. And Allie's mom said that are coming over today to stay for the weekend so that'll be pretty fun to show them the house hang out with the weenies and i think maybe we might get them talked into taking a dip in the chili goat um so yeah that'll be a good time <clears throat> so that's kind of the plan for today i'm gonna finish up my chili goat i got a couple minutes left here i can do five minutes and then we'll get dressed get warmed up and get the fitness in Allie's gonna try and get me to work on our house today. But I really wanna work on the weenie dog house. Look at Mr. Otis over there. He deserves a remodel. He's a good little boy. I believe he's cute, I guess. Oh, <clears throat> something I don't know if I've mentioned on here. Um, one of our dogs, Margo, is pregnant. Looks like she's gonna have some puppies in the coming weeks. So if you guys are interested in getting a puppy, um, they're gonna be chocolate dapples <clears throat> miniature dotsons so they're gonna be super cute she's the smallest one that we have so they're gonna be probably pretty small i would estimate um a mature weight for the puppies somewhere between i mean like six and ten pounds maybe otis is 11 or 12 pounds margo is on that smaller end she's like six or seven pounds so i would expect the puppies to fall somewhere in that range so if you're interested in a puppy um send us a message Get on the wait list. But yeah, maybe some cute puppies. Seven! Alright, 
spaced out the fan one. Pegboards felt good today. The yoke felt good. It's gonna be a mental thing for this competition. Just gonna have to get in the right mindset. Pick the run. Don't stand around and wait. You're not gonna recover. You don't need another five seconds to catch your breath. Get your arms underneath of it, take a breath. Lift and go right away. So that's one spot I think where you can make up a lot of time. And then the skier again, pegboards. I mean, I think some people are gonna go fast on the pegboards. It's gonna cost you a little bit on the ski and vice versa if you slow down. Or if you wanna speed up on the ski, you might not have as much in your pole for those later rounds of pegboards. So, <clears throat> I mean, overall that was a fun workout to do. Legs are definitely feeling heavy. I think just from loading pigs to the farm this morning, just probably this general week of training, ton of volume on the legs with a lot of cardio and stuff. Overall, that felt good. I'm gonna get some carbs. <clears throat> Take some time to rest and recover. Typically in my training, you know, it's 15, 20 minutes and we're starting the next Metcon just because I'm on such a time crunch and there's so much to get in every day. But you know, I want, if I want this to be like a comp simulation, comp prep, and I am and I had to take some time in between workouts to recover so I can get a proper feel for how these events are gonna affect you and <clears throat> how I'm gonna feel going to the next event. So we're gonna get some carbs, move this over an intra, grab a cowbell. Might take this downtime to do a little bit of work on the house and then we'll get back to it. Leading up to a competition, it is my philosophy that it is better to pull back volume, pull back, you know, your zone two work, your strict cardio work, things like that. Throw the intensity through the roof. <clears throat> so I didn't really do that a lot in this buildup because it is an off season event. So I have to kind of zoom out and keep the big picture in mind and make sure that I am peaking for the game season. So I, so I do not want to stray too far off from my programming <clears throat> for improving my base and building throughout this off season and getting ready for the 2024 CrossFit Games season this weekend and this next week as we lead up to the comp. I'll pull back volume a little bit and ramp up the intensity so I can have a good performance at Crash this, this coming weekend. So I ain't going down to Circa Carolina just to play around. I'm going down there to win. So I'm just kind of trying to balance things out. <clears throat> Keep the big picture in mind. But also I'm coming to win this weekend. Ooh, check that out. Big old cow ripped off on those pegboards. So I feel pretty good about my time on that event. Just some things that I can do, just some simple changes. That I think will help improve my score. You know, I know that I'll feel better when it's game day. You know, dad's busy in the field right now, so at the farm, we we're loading pigs very early. So, you know, getting up that early, the body doesn't always respond great to that, uh, performance wise, and also just missing out on some recovery with some lack of sleep. You know, I always perform better when we get to the competition floor than I do here at home. Based on how that went, and considering the conditions here, I'm very excited. I will say it's all also, it's kind of crazy how quickly your body can adapt to different things. The first time I did these urge squats last week, my arms were pretty tender during the workout. It wasn't a lot of soreness the next day, but now um, like one week later doing that again, um, I hardly noticed any tenderness in my arms at all during that event. Okay, so I just ate a little bit, got some carbs. Allie is at CrossFit Tail coaching classes right now. So I'm gonna take this recovery time in between events to work on the dog house. So I'm gonna try and get as much of this done as I can before she gets home. Time to go get the floor in. <clears throat> so this is some extra flooring for the house that I'm just gonna use for the wiener dog bin or a wiener dog house. I think they're gonna like it.
at the winter dog pen mode and weed eated. I'm gonna go vacuum out their doghouse now and get started on laying some floor. Doghouse all vacuumed out, subfloor is clean, ready to put down the flooring. What do you think, Mabel? Take some measurements, get some flooring in. I'm gonna have to hurry up here and get this flooring cut and put in. Allie's gonna be home pretty soon. Good. It's kind of difficult to install I got an idea for the trim. I'm about to go to the hardware store and I'll we'll prime it and paint it. So I'll have to do that probably another day. And so I'm gonna get started on the next uh, workout for Crash. What are you thinking about your new floor, Mabel? Hmm? What do you think, Mabel? <laughs> Maybe and Marco are playing. What's up, Otis? What are you doing back there, Marco? All right, there's gonna be plenty of time between events to simulate competition, so time to get warmed up. Get ready for Crash Crucible event number two. This next workout is four rounds, 400 meter run, 30 GC sit-ups, seven sled flips, but I'm gonna have to sub some power cleaning jerks for the flips and uh, see how it goes. Crash Crucible, event number two. That'd be a fun one, I think. Running felt good. GHDs felt fast. Hard to know exactly what the flip sled is gonna feel like. So we'll see on game day how that goes, but I think I got a good pace on the run. And GHDs are fast. I do a ton of volume on GHD the past month or two. I haven't been doing very many kind of like sprinty sets on the GHD because I'm still rehabbing my knee once in a while. I can kind of feel they get tweaked when I do GHDs fast, so I do them, did them fast today. They felt good. So I think I'll be able to hold my own pretty well on the run. I'll be able to probably be one of the fastest through the GHDs. And then for me, it's going to come down to that flip sled, how fast that moves. So we'll see. It's a good workout. That'll be it for crash testing for the, today. I think I'll do one other workout, lower intensity, um, just getting a little bit of volume in on a couple of movements I'm focusing on and doing a little bit of strength work. That'll be it for the rest of today's training. Pulling volume way back, intensity's up, getting ready for crash next weekend. So we'll get training finished up, hop in the chili goat and probably work on the house a little bit this evening, get, see if we can get some shelves put up.
for this video. It's a day of prep for crash, working on the dog house, and a little bit of the gym home. I feel I'm pretty good about crash coming up, I like the events, bodies coming around, the intensity, heading out in just a few days here in South Carolina. We're gonna drive down. Should be a good time, looking forward to it. Good competition, we'll give a hell. Have some fun, see what happens. If you guys are interested in buying a chili goat cold tub, I've really been liking mine. I use it every day, two times a day. There's a link in the description, also in my Instagram bio. I do do it in commission for that, so it's much appreciated if you do decide to buy one. If you go through that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but I do get a commission. So thank you if you do decide to purchase through that. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. New bed for the doghouse. I might get another one and cover up two thirds of their floor. Nice and comfy in here. It's Tempur-Pedic.